welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where look at this <laughs> on screen today. We have an arithmetic quiz, or an arithmetic quiz if you prefer that pronunciation, by M Nasty 2, um, or M Nasty 2. We've got M Nasty 2. I'm just trying to work out whether I should be able to say that in some sort of way that makes a homophone for something, and I'm failing. Uh, but anyway, this is a really unusual puzzle for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's got this, it has got a genuine arithmetic quiz in it. Secondly, it is one of the very highest one star ranked puzzles on Logic Masters Germany. Now, a one star ranked puzzle means that this is the most approachable puzzle. Um, so we ought to be in for a relatively smooth ride today if we can do some sums correctly. It's a beautiful setup as well with just the numbers one to nine in column one. And then some equations on the right. Very, very cute indeed. This has been suggested to us umpteen times, by the way. So I've no doubt it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, before we get started and I read you the very short rules, um, what do I need to tell you? We're going to be streaming on Thursday night, continuing our playthrough of our own Sudoku app. So get hold of the Sudoku app, by the way. It's completely free. It's to celebrate getting 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, just type Cracking the Cryptic into your app provider and you will find it there. And 23 puzzles therein from the great and the good of the Sudoku community. And I think we've done about 11 so far, 10 or 11. Um, so we're about halfway through. Um, other than that, you've got one day left to enter the competition on Patreon um, and join, I think, two, two or three thousand of your fellow patrons uh, who've managed to solve it correctly. Um, so, yeah, to be in with a chance of winning the prize, do get your answers in by tomorrow. You've got plenty of time to solve it. It's really not that hard. You should be able to do it by tomorrow if you haven't devoted any time to it yet. Um, and the other thing we've got going on on Patreon, of course, is Mark and I's collaborative solve of Dad Jokes' puzzle Jabberwocky, which we had a lot of fun with. Um, so if you want to check that out, that's available right now. Um, that's all. Oh, no, I've got birthdays. Birthdays to do. Two 24-year-old birthdays today. So I want to say Haisa um, from your boyfriend Tiago over in Brazil. Um, now, apparently, Haisa, you've been criticising Tiago for watching those old men on the internet again. I mean, that's harsh. Now, that is harsh. But anyway, um, we hope that you get more into Sudoku. And of course, we hope that you have a brilliant day full of cake today. Um, um, now, the other birthday today is Aaron. Aaron, your sister Sarah. Um, really enjoys the fact that the two of you can still bond over Sudoku even though you're living further apart. Um, so Erin, I hope that you have a brilliant birthday as well. Um, now, all that said and done, let's get on with our arithmetic quiz. I've gone to saying arithmetic now, haven't I? I don't know why. The rules are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So if you're new to the channel or even new to Sudoku, you might wonder what that means. It's very, very simple. You can see every, basically every column of a Sudoku every row of a Sudoku and every one of these three by three boxes in the Sudoku has to contain the digits one to nine once each. And that's how that rule works. When it says normal Sudoku rules apply, that's what that means. Um, now, two cell circles enclose two digit numbers. OK, so that's telling us that is a two digit number. That is a two digit number. Three cell circles enclose three digit numbers. OK, well, that makes sense. So this is a three digit number, so it could be something like one, four, five or something. Um, and our job is to make the equations work. <laughs> so do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, where is the place to start with this? Is anything catching my eye? I'm wondering whether it's meant to be the uh, the two and the three digit numbers. Ooh, I don't like multiplication in this. That's going to make things very volatile, isn't it? What about... Ah, okay. There's a, there's a trick we can do there. Very simple. This is a number, a single digit number plus another single digit number. So this tens digit in this two digit number must be a one, I think, because even if we make that nine and eight, we're only going to get to 17. So that's got to be a one. Um... So that, well, it's very similar logic here. How could this be a 20-something number? If we're deducting a single digit number from it to get a single digit number, it can't. That must be a 1. So there's a 1 over there by Sudoku. There's a 1 in one of these by Sudoku. 
Um, now, that one <laughs> looks very peculiar. So that's saying a digit is equal to one divided by something. Well, this is going to be a fraction because we can, I mean, we can't even do in, in Sudoku, we can't even do one divided by one equals one because that will definitely break the rules of the puzzle or at least the rules of normal Sudoku. So that's not a one. Um, now, if that's a one, Um, okay, yeah, no, that could be a 1, couldn't it? But then that would have to be a 2, which I think looks possible. Or this can be a 1. All right, let's forget that. What else can we do? Can we get a 1 up here, maybe? Oh, hang on, we've got four numbers adding together to give a two-digit number here that can't... Ah, this can't be a... Right. I've got another one. This is a one here. See if you can work that out, by the way. If you can't, uh, pause the video. For those of you who managed to do it, congratulations. Sorry, I'm in Agad Mate or Chess Mood today after the puzzle yesterday. I will just mention that puzzle. The feedback we've been getting on yesterday's puzzle, which was called Ein Ectus Schack Sudoku, I think, which is German for a real chess Sudoku, has been extraordinary. Lots of people saying it's their favourite puzzle we've ever featured. Um, I think all those people are big chess aficionados. If you are a chess aficionado, check out the puzzle yesterday. You won't believe your eyes. It is ridiculous. Um, but anyway, let's get back to this. What is this tens digit? Now, it can't be. this can't be a 20-something number. Now, in theory, you can make four different Sudoku digits add up to 30. But you, because you can't put zero in a Sudoku... That's not going to work. So you can't make these 6, 7, 8, 9 and put a 3 here because you'll have to put a 0 after them. So that means the only tens digit that's valid here is 1, which means one of these three cells has got to be a 1. And that means that... Oh, hang on, we've got one of these fractions. This is... Okay, so this again, if this is a 1... The only way that this could equal a single digit number is if this was 1 divided by sort of 1, which equals 1. So we're going to definitely repeat the 1 there, so that won't work. So, can we do this now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is very cute. This is very cute. How could this be a 1? And the answer is it can't be, because if it's a 1, this is not a 1, and therefore is at least a 2. And you have something which is saying 20 plus something is equal to 19 or 10 or something. It just doesn't, the, the arithmetic doesn't work. So this has to be a 1 in the column, which makes this a 1. And now, now, now this is a 2, because we're adding a single digit number to a, a sort of teenage number. So that's going to be a 2. This is very cute so far. It, it's not it's not that difficult, I suppose, but there's nothing wrong with that if you get a he healthy dose of elegance, which this is certainly providing. Um, Okie dokie. So now what do we do? I'm tempted. Actually, that is a multiplication sign there. Right. Okay, well, I'm tempted to look at this units digit then. Because, the, well, we can't have a prime number here now. Because this is going to be a single digit number times another single digit number that's got to equal this number. So this can't be a 3 because 23 is prime. It could be a 4. 24 is actually probably quite likely. 25 won't work. Because then you're going to have to, this will have to be 5 times 5, and that will be a 5, and you'll repeat the 5. 26 won't work, because that's going to, that's only able to be 13 times 2, and neither of these can equal 13. Um, 27, oh, that might work. 27, this could, well, this would have to be 3 times 9, but we're not repeating any digits there. So that might work. 20, oh, 20, I was going to say 28 might work, but 28 doesn't work for Sudoku reasons, and 29 is prime. So this is 24 or 27. Ah, right. This is very cute. This is not 27, because 
how do we make these units digits work now? Well, we're adding 10 to something to get 27. So these two have to add up to 17, which means they have to be a 9 and an 8. And we've already got an 8 in the row. So that doesn't work by the rules of maths. So that's a 4. And the, oh, the, oh yeah, this is lovely. This is absolutely cute. It's really cute. Okay, so I'm just going to do that trick again. This 1, if we think about what that represents mathematically, it represents 10. So we've got 10 here, plus these two digits equals 24. Well, that means those two digits add up to 14, and they can't be 6 and 8. So the only way of doing that with Sudoku digits is with 5 and 9, and that can't be a 9. So this is 5, this is 9, and our job now is just to make the 3, the 6, and the 7 somehow give O, 24. So we're going to have to multiply by... Right, well, we can't... Yes, okay, we can't do 3 times something because I can't make 6 and 7 give me an 8 here. So we're going to have to use 6 here. 7 minus 3 is 4, and 6 times 4 is 24. So there you go, row 8, done and dusted. Very cute indeed. Um, now what, he says. Staring. What's this bottom row saying? This is saying that two numbers equal... Well, the sum of two numbers equals the sum of two numbers equals the sum of two numbers equals that number. So that means those cells are a multiple of four. They sum to a multiple of four. And I'll tell you something else. It also means that there have to be, whatever this number is, there has to be three different ways at least of expressing it as the sum of different numbers, different Sudoku digits. So this cannot be a particularly low number because let's even say... Uh, six here. Six, six in Sudoku world can only be one five plus two four, or one five, one plus five, or two plus four. There is no third way of doing it because three plus three is never available because it would repeat the three. So this digit has got to be at least seven and it can't be nine. So that's seven or eight. So this digit is either six or seven, depending on what this is. Let me just stare at that for a second. Is Oh, so this is heavily constrained. If this is 8, this is 2, 6, and that works. If this is 7, this is 3, 4, and that works. And the expression we're looking for now is Bilbo Bobbins. <laughs> Thank you, Celery, in the other the chat the other night for suggesting that. It did amuse us. Um, right, well, what's that digit? Hang on. So this, what we've got here is a single digit number is equal to another Sudoku digit divided by this number, which is not 1, 2 or 4. Well, it's got to be 3 then, because if we divide a Sudoku number by 5, even if we make this 9, we're not going to get anything that's very sensible here, are we? So this is 3. This is not, ah, this is not 9, so that's 6. So this is 2. So that... Oh, and this does it. So now this, it has to be a 3-4 pair. And if that's a 3-4 pair, 3 and 4 add up to 7. So this has got to be 6. 6 plus 1 equals 7. And that's got to be a 2-5 pair. And in the corner now, we've got an 8. And therefore, these digits are 1, 4 and something. 1, 4 and 9. Um... I'm going to say this can't be 9 because we're deducting 9 from what will be a lower Sudoku number. So that's going to be negative, which is going to get us into a world of trouble. Um, so this is 1 or 4. What are these digits now? These are 8 and 5. So let's just take a stare at this. Well, we can't divide 5 by anything to get 2. So the, Oh, I see. Yeah, this is just 8. So this is 5, and we need to deduct from 5 one to give us four so we've now got eight my eight divided by four equals two so that's very cute this is not one this is not one by sudoku um this is, yeah i mean this is a real this is a real change of pace and it's very welcome it's lovely isn't it now hmm, now our job is to work out work out something sensible to do here 
I'm trying to see if there's an obvious deduction I should be making from these sums that we've got left. At the moment, I'm failing in that task. Um, maybe this digit. So, I mean, this this again, this is a, this is being expressed as a multiple. So this has got to be some sensible number. It can't be 13 because that's prime. So it could be 14. It can't, can it be 15? No, it can't be 15 because that's going to require a five in one of these. So you're going to have a five here and then three times five again. So it's not 15, 16 is probably okay. 17 is prime and 18 is impossible and 19 is prime. So this is four, this is either a four or a six. So, if this is, well, okay, I see. I see how to do this. This is not 14 is the simple way of saying it because if that's 14, this is broken because it's either, the only way of making two different Sudoku digits add up to 14 is either five, nine, that's ruled out or six, eight, that's ruled out. So this is six, I think, which means this is a seven, nine pair which means these squares are two, three, and eight, which is going to put some sort of, pre oh, that's not two. Uh, oh, hang on, have I broken this? No, this is okay. This very simple sum down here now, this is gonna to have to be an eight, isn't it? Because if that's a three, the only way of not getting a negative number is to go three, two, and then this is a one. So I think this is eight. Uh, 8 minus 2 would give 6. That will break there. So this is now a 3. This is a 2. This is a 5. This has to be a 4-8 pair now um, by the power of maths again. So the way I'm seeing, I see that. I know this is a minus sign, 12 minus this digit. But you could, you could just rewrite this equation as 12 equals this digit plus this digit. That would be the same. Um, in other words, those two squares have to add up to 12 and they're not 5, 7 and they're not 3, 9. So they are 4, 8 and we know which the order is. <laughs> 8, 4 goes in. How are we going to make 16? Well, 2 times 8 looks very good. 4 times 4 doesn't work because that's going to repeat the 4. Um, so it is 2 times 8, I think. So 2 times 8. This has got to be a 3, 5 pair. Row 4. Four is almost done. This three has given me more stuff in box seven. These squares have got to be three. Ah, seven has got to go in. Three's got to go in. Nine's got to go in. Good grief. Okay, so now these are six, seven, and nine. And these are one, two, and four. And that's not one. That's not seven. That's not six. Um, can I get this 2, 5 down here? Maybe not. Okay, so we might have to do a bit more thinking then about what's going on in these numbers up here. <laughs> um, right, where is the simple way? Or what's the simple way of thinking about this? What are those digits? They're 6 and 8. Does that tell us anything? Hmm doubt it. What about these digits then? These are 2, 4 and 7. Can we do anything with that? Don't know. What about these? These have got to be 3, 5 and 9. Hang on, what am I doing here? My phone's back. Oh, it's Mark. It's Mark. He wants to talk to me. Well, he can't talk to me. I'm busy. I'm thinking. Um... So we've got, sorry, he'll, he'll give up in a moment. Um, oh, I know what it'll be. One and two can't be in those cells. So actually, what's the minimum of this sum? Three, four, five, and six, which is 18. Oh, good grief. Oh, that well, hang on. Let me just check I've got my own maths right here. Yeah, three, four, five, and six. If I did minimize all those digits because they can't be one and two, they would add up to 18, which is, seems to be impossible. 
So they must add up to 19, and therefore they must be um, 3, 4, 5, and 7. That's not 2. So this is 4 or 7. 3, 4, 5, or 7. So this is 3 or 5. 3, 4, that's 5 or 7 by Sudoku. That's 4 or 7 by Sudoku. Oh, so the only place 3 can go in this row is here. So that's 3. I've got a 4, 7 pair here. So that's become 5. Now what's happened to these other equations? Probably something a bit interesting. Maybe. Oh, hang on a minute. That's at least a 4. And it's being, oh, look, this is, yeah, this is forced. This is at least a 4 being multiplied by at least a 2. So the minimum sum or the minimum multiplication there is 80. So that's got to be a 9, which means that's got to be a 5. This can't, because this is at least 4, this can't be n multiplied by anything other than 2. Because if we, if it's, even if it's 40, we multiply it by 4, that's 160, which is bigger than 90. And bigger than 96 and 98 even. There is a knowledge bomb for you from cracking the cryptic. Um, so this is... Well, that's got to be a 4 now. And so we're either looking at 48 or 49, aren't we? Well, 49 won't work because that'll repeat the 9. So it's got to be 48, I think, which makes that 6, that 8. That's 7 now by, by math. So that's 4, that's 7. These squares have got to be 9 and 6 which is actually resolved, look, which gives us the nine and the seven. And now all we've got to do is write two in there and hope that this multiplication works. Um, and obviously the way I did that is I timed the six by the seven and got 42, but um, six times uh, nine is 540, isn't it? So that's working perfectly. Um, so we've got 540 plus 42, which is the six times the seven does give 582. So the world, the world makes sense. Um, so hopefully Sudoku will sort out the final columns. Let's see. Six and eight we can put, put in. So that loses the ability to be six and that has to be six. These squares have got to be a one, four pair. Ah, that's not done. These have got to be three, five and seven. Oh, the three then has to go there. The seven goes here and the five goes here. So does that, that might do it. Look, five and two go in. The nine fixes the seven and the nine and the nine and the four. And oh, it does look four, one, how pretty. Two, four and one. That's lovely. What a lovely puzzle. And it was an arithmetic quiz. There's no sort of an arithmetic quiz overlaid on some Sudoku. And some of the interactions were delightful, absolutely delightful. Lo I'm looking forward to the comments on this one, actually. It's a change of pace from some of the monsters I've been doing recently, but very welcome and extremely well done to M Nasty 2 or Nasty 2 or something. Um, and yeah, I look forward to the comments, especially if they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Mm -hmm.